officially spooky season, so I had to bust out this old um, Minnie Mouse shirt. But I thought for spooky season, I would make a spooky coffee bar. Probably gonna say spooky a bunch of times in this video, so I apologize in advance. It has been raining nonstop, so we haven't been able to do anything to the camper because all of the last things we need to do to it involve outdoors, so we haven't been able to work on it. Um, but since it's raining today, we're gonna work on our coffee bar. So I actually got a new coffee bar. We had this old setup. Um, if you guys remember, I did a video on this Ikea um, bar cart makeover and it turned out beautiful, but it just never really fit the space well. It was just a little bit too small for such a big wall. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found this adorable um, buffet sideboard and I just think it's perfect for this space. Um, it also has a lot of sweet details on it, so I just fell in love with it. And the only thing I didn't love about it were the knobs on it. They kind of looked like noses, like a, a gnome nose or something. So I actually found um, a pack of these handles from Lowe's and they're originally $50 but I got them on sale for $13 for a pack of $10. So that was amazing. Um, so I just put the new handles on and the piece is ready to go. So before we get into the decorating, I have a really fun DIY I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I was looking to put a big chalkboard um, right above the coffee bar just so every season I could write something cute on it. Um, but chalkboards are pretty expensive. So um, I looked around the house, I found an old pair of shutters and I also found some old plywood and I just put the two things together and made a chalkboard. So I'm gonna show you guys how I created that. Here is the piece of plywood that I have. So I'm just taking this Rust-Oleum chalkboard spray paint and I'm going to spray this all over the piece of wood. And making a chalkboard is so easy. They can be super, super expensive. So I definitely recommend making them if you guys have the time and the tools. So here's what it looks like once it is all painted. Um, it looks a little bit light on camera, but it's darker in person. So here are my old shutters. These actually were in my um, first apartment I had. These things have come with me through many moves. I love them. So I'm just taking a sander and just getting off any of the loose paint. And also they are pretty yellow and I just wanted the yellow toned down a little bit. So sanding them um, just helped to do that. Now I'm just cutting off um, the ends of the shutters, um, basically just the longest pieces and then they just break right apart. You don't have to cut all the way down. Um, and then I'm just taking a nail gun. Connor's helping me with this and we're just nailing this together. This is such a simple DIY. Um, if you guys don't have shutters, I'm sure you could just find random pieces of wood or some other type of furniture maybe at your house. Um, so now we're just nailing in the chalkboard and like I mentioned, it's so easy. Um, you can be done at that step, but if you wanna hang it up, I just took some wire, I wrapped it around a nail or a screw rather, and then I just um, put this into the board and it was all set. I have Hocus Pocus on to set the mood. Um, but anyway, over here is what the area looks like so far. Um, Wilbur's barking in the background, sorry. <laughs> but I think that the new knobs look so much better. I love it. And I'm so obsessed with how the chalkboard came out. So again, here's just a quick little overview. Um, then I have a bunch of decorations and stuff down here that um, I'm gonna put up. And I'm also gonna show you guys the new decorations that I got, which are over here. Let's start with this. First, I got some of these coffee cups. These were from Michaels. Everything at Michaels was 40% off, which was awesome. There was only one of these left, which I feel like they're gonna go super quick because they are so cute. And I love things like this because I can just turn it around um, and just use it for any season or I could use the Cricut and um, just print like a new saying out for maybe Christmas or harvest time, whatever. Um, I also, cut some of these spider webs i feel like who am i i never do halloween stuff i'm just not into it so it's kind of crazy that i got that um the next thing i got was this little candy corn um like tree i guess i just felt like i needed some height over there at the coffee bar so i got that 
I got these, oops, I dropped them. I got these little pumpkins. Um, Michael's has a really cute section of kind of like vintage looking Halloween things, but they were pretty much sold out of everything. So I wasn't really able to get any of that stuff, but thought those were cute. And then this is what I'm gonna, I'm planning on putting in the chalkboard because I think that would be really fun um, for the season. And then in here, I just got some Reese's, um, again, just to decorate with. I feel like candy is a really easy way to decorate and kind of just take up a little bit of extra space. Another thing that I got, I actually got this a couple days ago from the Christmas tree shop. Um, this was really cute um, and it's perfect for either Halloween or harvest time. Sometimes when you're doing a coffee bar, it can get overwhelming because you feel like you need a lot of decorations to fill up the space. But one of the easiest ways to fill up the space is just using festive candies. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I just put them in some jars and called it a day. Um, they also just help to decorate the area and also add a little bit more color to it. Now I'm going to add the pumpkin garland. Like I mentioned before, I got this at the Christmas tree shop. They also had it in a blue color, but I just thought that the black was really fun and festive. And so now I'm just adding on these little pumpkins, which I think make it super spooky. Um, sorry, there I go. I was saying spooky already. Um, but I actually did take some of the string and just tied it on afterwards because I was like, these are going to fall, especially when my nieces come over. So I just wanted to make sure they stuck on there. So we can't have a coffee bar without some coffee. It's actually kind of funny I'm making a coffee bar because I gave up coffee like four months ago. But anywho, um, one of my favorite ways to... Um, just have like a flower vase is to repurpose old alcohol bottles So I decided to go with Sailor Jerry for this one because it kind of had like a spooky Halloween pirate vibe to it So I thought that was perfect and I just used that little tree to give some height This brew bar sign is so adorable. I really love how that came out now I'm gonna take some of um, these cobwebs it kind of looks like snow but the cobwebs and just add this on i feel like this was just another layer to add on to the bar and i feel like it just really helped to pull everything together I have this book from the 1800s and I feel like it kind of looks like a spell book or just something that you would see in like Hocus Pocus. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to take that and also use that for decoration. Um, I decided to put this underneath the bottle just to give it a little bit of extra height. And then on top of that, I just added some pumpkins and some greenery. Now it's time to add all of our yummy candy. So I'm just going to put a tray right here because there is um, some like markings on top of uh, my piece. So I just wanted to cover that and I'm using this bowl that we actually got for our wedding. It is vintage and I love it so much. So now I'm going to add in some Reese's. Comment below if you guys say Reese's or Reese's. I recently met a bunch of people that say Reese's. I'm a Reese's girl though so that's how I say it and now I'm just adding in the rest of the decorations. I couldn't really figure out what to do with the cups but I figured that out in about like two seconds you guys will see. This Hocus Pocus jar is also air sealed, airtight, um, so it's perfect if you want to put your coffee grinds in it. Um, so then I just took a candle holder and I put the cups on top just to give it a little bit more height Just felt like it kind of also added to um, The overall feel of the bar and now I'm adding some cobwebs onto this lantern Last but certainly not least I'm gonna add some of these little twinkle lights um, I've had these ones forever. I got them on Amazon a very very long time ago, but it definitely helps to just make the bar feel super Halloween-y. Here is what the brew bar looks like. I love how this came out. It is so fun and spooky. It's definitely out of my element. I feel like I'm a very like 
happy, light person. So to do something Halloween-ish is so out of my comfort zone. But I love how it came out and it just makes me so excited for Christmas time. I'm sorry I'm talking about Christmas, but I just have so many fun ideas for the coffee bar for Christmas time. On the side of my coffee bar, I have this Ikea cart, which I just put in any of the extra coffee things that I would need for the coffee bar because we're actually using the rest of the cabinet for all of our alcohol and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the spooky coffee bar. I have been loving it. It's just so cozy and so fun to have this in the house. If you guys do recreate this or make your own spooky coffee bar, make sure to tag me in your pictures on Instagram so I can see them and like them. But I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!